What is Python Flask? Flask is a lightweight and popular web application framework. It is written in Python programming language. It was developed by Armin Ronecker in 2010. Flask is based on WSGI, Web Server Gateway Interface, Toolkit and Jinja 2 Template Engine. It provides you with tools, libraries and technologies that allow you to build a web application. What is WSGI? WSGI stands for Web Server Gateway Interface. It is a specification that describes how a web server communicates with web applications, and how web applications can be chained together to process one request. What is the use of Python Flask? Python Flask is used for creating APIs, blog or wiki-like platform. What is the meaning of G in Python Flask? Flask G name stands for global which is referring to data being global within a context. The data saved in G is lost after the context ends, and it is not an appropriate place to store data between requests. What are the new features of Flask? Flask comes with built-in development server as well as fast debugger. Integrated support for unit testing. RESTful request dispatching. Comes with Jinja 2 templating technique. It supports secure cookies that is client-side sessions. Also has the WSGI 1.0 compliant feature. It is based on Unicode. Google App Engine compatibility. Python Flask is extensively documented. What is the use of WorkZug in Flask? WorkZug is a utility library meant for usage with the Python language. Mostly, it is a web server gateway interface or WSGI app that can create software items for request, response, or utility functions. What is use of Jinja? Jinja is a template engine for Python programming purposes, and it resembles the Django web framework's templates. What is Flask WTF and what are their features? Flask WTF offers simple integration with WT forms. Features include for Flask WTF are Integration with forms Secure form with CSRF token Global CSRF protection Internationalization integration Recaptcha supporting File upload that works with Flask uploads Explain, how can we access sessions in Flask? In Flask, a session allows us to remember information from one request to another. It uses a signed cookie so the user can look at the session contents. We can access session by using the secret key flask.secret underscore key in the Flask framework. How can we request database connections in Flask? Flask provides three ways to establish database connection. These are given below. Before underscore request, it is called before a request and requires no arguments. After underscore request, it is called after a request and pass the response that will be sent to the client. Tear down underscore request, it is used when exception is raised and response are not guaranteed. It is called after the response and not allowed to modify the request or their values. What is Flask Sijax? Flask Sijax is Python jQuery library to perform Ajax function in Flask. You can install Flask Sijax by using below command. Easy underscore install Flask Sijax. Pip install Flask Sijax. What are the HTTPs methods provided by Python Flask? HTTPs methods are used to retrieve data from an URL. Get, the get is the method that sends data to the server unencrypted. Head, head is similar to get but that it has no response body. Post, the post server does not cache the HTML form data that it sends put, it is the method in which the uploaded content replaces current data representations of the target resources. Delete, this method removes the current representations of the target resource that is suggested by a URL. What is the difference between Flask and Pyramid? Flask can be stated as a micro framework which is solely built for a small application, which has simpler requirements. In Flask, the users have to use external libraries. Flask is always ready to use. 
pyramid is built for larger application as it provides flexibility and allows the developer use the right features for their project. The developer can choose the database, templating style URL structure and more. Pyramid is therefore heavy configurable. What is the use redirect function? Redirect function is used to display the login page again when the login attempt fails. What are the delimiters used in Jenga 2 template? Percent, percent, it is used for statements, it is used for expressions to print to the template output. Hash, hash, it is used for comments not included in the template output. Hash, hash, it is used for line statements. What are the server 5xx errors? HTTP underscore 500 underscore internal underscore server underscore error. HTTP underscore 501 underscore not underscore implemented. HTTP underscore 502 underscore bad underscore gateway. HTTP underscore 503 underscore service underscore unavailable. HTTP underscore 504 underscore gateway underscore timeout. HTTP underscore 505 underscore HTTP underscore version underscore not underscore supported. HTTP underscore 511 underscore network underscore authentication underscore required. How to get logged user it in Flask. Current underscore user dot get underscore it is used to get logged in user it in Flask. Here is an example. From Flask import G. If current underscore user dot is underscore authenticated. G dot user equals current underscore user dot get underscore it. How to get visitor IP address in Flask. Request dot remote underscore address is used to get visitor IP address in Flask. Here is an example. From Flask import request. From Flask import sonify. At app dot root slash get underscore user underscore i dot p methods equals get. Def get underscore user underscore i dot p. Return sonify ip colon request dot remote underscore address. 200. How is memory managed in Flask Python? Flask Python is a collection of private heap spaces, which holds all objects and data structures together. Programmers cannot access it. It is the task of the interpreter to manage it. But in the core API, users can access some of the tools. The Flask Python memory manager controls its allocation. Also, an inbuilt garbage collector is present which recycles all unused memory so it is made available for the heap space. How can we get a query string from the flask? We can get a query string from the flask by using following function. At app.root slash data. Def data, user equals request.arg.get, user. What are pickling and unpickling? To make a portable and serialized representations of Python objects, we have the module known as pickle which accepts a Python object, basically everything in Python is an object, and then converts it into a string type, and after that uses the dump function to dump it into a file. We term this as pickling. On the contrary, retrieving objects from the stored string forms is called as unpickling. How one can enable debugging in Flask there are two ways by which users can enable debugging in Flask. They are as follows. By setting their flag on the application's object. By passing their flag as a parameter to run. If the user is enabling to debug support, the server will reload it when the code will change and the user doesn't have to restart after each change made in the code. What are the validators class of WT forms in Flask? In Flask. The validators class of WT form are listed in below table. Data required, to check whether input field is empty. Email, to check whether text in the field follows email ID conventions. IP address, to validate IP address in input field. Length, to verify if length of string in input field is in given range. Number range, to validate a number in input field within given range. URL to validate URL entered an input field. What is the default port of Flask? 5000 default port. What is the use of app routing in Python Flask? App routing in Flask is used to map a specific URL with the associated function that is intended to perform some task. What are client errors in Flask? 
HTTP underscore 400 underscore bad underscore request. HTTP underscore 401 underscore unauthorized. HTTP underscore 402 underscore payment underscore required. HTTP underscore 403 underscore forbidden. HTTP underscore 404 underscore not underscore found. HTTP underscore 405 underscore method underscore not underscore allowed. HTTP underscore 406 underscore not underscore acceptable. HTTP underscore 407 underscore proxy underscore authentication underscore required. HTTP underscore 408 underscore request underscore timeout. HTTP underscore 409 underscore conflict. HTTP underscore 410 underscore gone. HTTP underscore 411 underscore length underscore required. HTTP underscore 412 underscore precondition underscore failed. HTTP underscore 413 underscore request underscore entity underscore to underscore large. HTTP underscore 414 underscore request underscore URI underscore to underscore long. HTTP underscore 415 underscore unsupported underscore media underscore type. HTTP underscore 416 underscore requested underscore range underscore not underscore satisfiable. HTTP underscore 417 underscore expectation underscore failed. HTTP underscore 428 underscore precondition underscore required. HTTP underscore 429 underscore to underscore many underscore requests. HTTP underscore 431 underscore request underscore header underscore fields underscore to underscore large. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.